There are over 330 euro, 27 million people living in the United States of America today. But if you were to draw a line right here, roughly 80% of Americans would be living east of that line. So why is it that so many people live on the east side of the country? Well, there are several reasons. And the first one, obviously, is the east coast. The east coast has some of the most popular cities in the country, including New York City, Boston, Philadelphia, D.C., Baltimore, and of course, Miami. All these cities combined have a population of roughly 56 million people. That's about 17% of the entire U.S. population. Not to mention all the other cities in between those that we just mentioned that also have a large amount of people living in them. Now, if you were to go out west, you'd find that a lot of those states have extremely low populations compared to the eastern states. Take a look at this map. We've got Texas, which is the largest state by land area. It's almost 700,000 square kilometers. California is the third largest state, just under 700,000 square kilometers. And then Nevada is the seventh largest state, just under 300,000 square kilometers. If you were to add up the populations of Texas, California, and Nevada, you get roughly 12% of the entire US population. So not even close to the 17% that we find on the East Coast. The reason why there's such a drastic difference in population between the East Coast and the West Coast is primarily because of jobs. There are more job opportunities on the East Coast than the West Coast. And since people need jobs to survive, obviously they're going to go where the jobs are. Back in the early days when the United States was first being settled, the East Coast had a major advantage because that's where the first permanent English settlement was built in 1620. That settlement, of course, is what we now know as the city of Boston. The East Coast proximity to Europe also made it easier for trade and travel. Because of this, the East Coast became the center of commerce and trade, and that's how it got the head start in population compared to the West Coast. Today, the majority of Americans still live on the East Coast because of the amount of people that are already there. More and more people continue to move to the East Coast because of the job opportunities. It's an ongoing cycle that will likely continue for many years to come. So if you want to live in the United States and have the best chance of finding a job, you should probably move to the East Coast. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now leave a comment below with your thoughts on this video or any video suggestions you may have.